This is the most productive way to build web and mobile apps today. And once you tried it, you'll never go back. Hey, Rake Native friends, what's up? Simon here from galaxies.dev. You know, building apps can be slow. You set up navigation, configure APIs, tweak styles across platforms, it all adds up. But building apps should feel smooth. It should feel fun, but too often we're stuck finding the perfect setup, dealing with boilerplate and just losing momentum before we even get to the good part, actually building stuff. But what if I told you there's a way to skip the boring setup and just build? With this setup, you just drop files, write code and ship. It's smooth, fast and honestly, I personally can't imagine building apps any other way anymore. Okay, so let's be real for a second. We've all been there. You start a new React Native project and suddenly you're drowning in decisions. Navigation setup? Do you go with Expo Router or React Navigation, Stack or Tabs? Where do you put your API logic? Do you need a backend? Should you spin up a node server? Styling? Why are there no built-in components? And what's the best library right now? And context switching? Build iOS, fix Android, and oh, we got a runtime issue on the web. Every little thing adds friction, and friction kills productivity. Instead of actually building your app, you're stuck setting up structure again and again. And it's not even only React Native. Every mobile developer faces the same struggles. So how do we fix it? Well, we combine some of the best tools to achieve peak productivity. Let me show you what I mean. Let's start with navigation. What if you could just drop a file in a folder and boom, that's a new screen. That's exactly what Expo Router does. It brings file-based routing like in Next.js right into React Native. No need to manually wire up navigation and screen objects. You create a home.tsx file and you've got a home screen. A settings.tsx file, that's now a settings screen. And deep linking, built in. This just makes sense instead of worrying about the setup you're just building your app and whether you just use a url scheme or set up universal links it just works without any additional code to jump right into your app but it's not just screens nested layouts dynamic routes even models everything is just a file and a bit of configuration away i can't stress this enough this is how navigation should work in react native if you want to dive deeper into this Check out my video on how to build every layout with Expo Router. Now, what about your backend? Let's say you need to fetch some data or use an API with secret keys. Normally, you'd set up a separate node server, deploy it somewhere, manage an API. It's a lot. But with Expo Router API routes, you can keep everything inside your one project. Instead of spinning up a whole backend, you just create an API folder inside your project at a get data plus api.ts file and now you have an API endpoint right in your app. Wanna call your function? Just call slash API slash get data. By the way, this is the only setup where your secret keys are not exposed to your front end or bundled in your app. The code of the API route runs in a server side environment. And this is a game changer. You don't need to overcomplicate things when you just need a few server functions. It's all inside your app and it works seamlessly with everything else. And the Expo CLI is great in serving those locally during development. And for anything more complex, you can still connect to an external API, but the fact that you can keep it simple when you need to is what makes the setup so powerful. Now, let's talk about styling. We all know styling in React Native can be tricky. You writing styles in JavaScript, there are platform differences and managing consistency is a challenge. That's where Native Wind comes in. Check out my full video on using Native Wind for mobile. But if you've ever used Tailwind CSS, you already know how fast and intuitive it is. With Native Wind, you get the same experience, but in React Native. Instead of defining styles in a separate object, you just write classes directly in your components. and just like that, you've got responsive, consistent styling. The best part? It's optimized for native performance. Under the hood, Native Wind even converts animations to use reanimated in the native thread, which makes it super performant wherever your code runs. And soon you'll also be able to use CSS animations simply with reanimated 4. Check out my short preview video about it. And all of this makes styling way more intuitive and keeps your UI clean and flexible. And if you ever need platform specific tweaks, it supports that too. If you want different padding on iOS or Android, just add a modifier. No more platform OS equals or platform select everywhere in your styles. And bonus, AI has so much training data on Tailwind that most of your UIs will be generated in an instant. Now, 
Here's the real magic. This setup doesn't just work for mobile, it works for web too. Expo has had great web support for a while and as Evan Bacon said on our recent podcast episode, the list of features that Expo web doesn't support is pretty short. That means with this stack you get true cross-platform development without friction. Navigation works on mobile and web. API routes work in both. Styling looks great everywhere. You can literally run Expo start in your terminal, open it in a browser, iOS and Android device and see your app running on all platforms with hot reload. One small change, instant reload on all platforms. It feels magical still today. And it's not just working everywhere, it works in the best possible way. You can have platform specific files and layout routes to have a completely separate web UI or um, use something like Expo Apple Targets to even add widgets, a true native feature to your React Native app. No special configuration, no weird workarounds, just one code base working everywhere. Wrap that up with a new EAS hosting to host your API routes in web version with a single command. Oh, and we haven't even talked about RSC in this video. Check out my recent video for more information about EAS hosting and how it's the missing piece to Universal React Native. But if you've ever struggled with maintaining separate code for web and mobile or mono repositories, this setup eliminates that pain entirely. So let's recap. With Expo Router and Native Wind, you're getting file-based navigation that just works, APIs inside your project without a separate backend, Tailwind style styling that's fast and consistent, a single code base for web and mobile. This is peak productivity for React Native. If you've been feeling like React Native development is slow, clunky or just more work than it should be, this is the way. Honestly, try this setup. You'll never want to build another way. And if you want to deep dive into any of these, let me know in the comments. Oh, and if you want to learn more about some recommended libraries and technologies, check out my React Native tech stack video, which has some really nice gems inside. I'll catch you, of course, in the next one. Stay subscribed. And until then, happy coding, Simon.